There are many tragedies in life. Such an example is Jojo, the falcon lover. This is Jojo. He is a pretty normal guy. He has a girlfriend. And he was liked by everybody. It didn't matter who. <laughs> but things would eventually turn dark for young Jojo. It all started one day. Hey, Rodrigo, did you know that falcons sound like raptors from Jurassic Park when they're having sex? Well, uh, I didn't know that, but why are you looking up falcons? I don't know. There's something about falcons is so majestic to me these days. These days? Yeah. Okay, then, whatever. Um, uh, why is there a hobo sleeping on in your house? Oh, this is Selborn. He's cool. Okay, then. What does he do? He just sleeps there. Sometimes he goes pees in the sink, but most of the time, he just sleeps there. Well, whatever. From that day on, Jojo began to have dreams about the falcon. How majestic its wingspan is. How it moans in the night. How its feathers sparkle in the beginnings of dawn. <sighs> Falcons. Falcons everywhere. So beautiful. <laughs> Jojo lost many nights of sleep and became confused by the lust of his feathered friends. But in the end, all he cared about was his true love. I can't repress my feelings anymore. I love the falcon. I need the falcon. I am the falcon! And so, Jojo left behind his lifestyle, his girlfriend, and his home to join the Falcons. He climbed through the hills and jumped over obstacles to get to his destination. Eventually, yeah. he made it to the top. Yeah, it. He danced Woo. with the Falcons yeah. and gave out a glorious yeah. yell. And with his victory, he made a leap for the Falcons, but he did not remember that he couldn't fly.